Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a neat program called Glove Pie. Um, not really quite sure if you would use it that often, but it's a neat little feature I think you might could use in like a presentation or something, like if you work for a business or something. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Google and you're going to type in Glove Pie. Then you'll pull up, that's my dog, sorry. You'll pull up Glove Pie Carl Kenner, that'll be your first option. And when it pulls up the website, you're going to click on this one because the website has been moved. So you're going to click there. Now you're going to go to your downloads. You're going to hit, I already have 100% green power, I'm ready to download Glove Pie. All that is, is they're just screwing with you, I think. Um, you can read it if you want. I don't think it's very important, but I've already read through it all. Now, you can say, I'm ready to download it, and then you will click here to download Glove Pie 0.45 free. And it'll take about five to six seconds to download. And come on. I hate how when I record everything's like that much slower. I hate it. I need to get a better processor. Like I've got a dual core processor right now. What I want is a quad core processor, and I want like a uh, Nvidia graphics card because my graphics card right now is like Intel. Um, uh, it's like a chipset family or something. Nope. Oh, here we go. It's done. All right. So you're gonna put it on your desktop somewhere, and I'll even scan it for you to show you that there aren't any viruses. Hold on, I hit open archive, my bad. I'm used to doing that for a lot of files. Scan with Microsoft Security Essentials, and I will show you that there is no virus. Well, it would suck, because if I'm sitting here recording it, right, and it, it, the first time I scanned it, it goes, there is no virus, and then it goes, <laughs> when I scanned it the second time, it goes, virus detected, you're, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> Now, it, there we go. No pr threats were um, detected. So, alright, so we know that it's good. What you're going to do is you're going to sit here and you're going to right click it. You can use 7-zip or the extract all button. I'm not sure if that comes with Windows software or not. And you're just going to extract all the files to a regular folder, which I've already got open here. And all you're going to do is you're going to right, I mean, open it up. And you're going to scroll down until you find the Pi Free folder here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open that. You can close out of this now. Once it uh, registers, there we go. You're going to hit yes. And then you can, come on, there we go, close out of that. And when it pulls up this, this is sort of what people use for emulators, which, um, if I remember correctly, it's what you can use to, like, um, remake old games, like for the Nintendo 64 to play on your computer. Now, what you're going to want to do is you can hit File Open, and it's already got a couple of scripts already, already made for you. Now, the two that I'm going to show you today, which I think are really cool, are mouse scripts and voice scripts. So you're gonna go to, I think we'll go to mouse scripts first, and we'll save the best one for last. You're gonna click on mouseparty.py. Now when you do that, if you have another mouse plugged into your USB, right now all it does is it controls the same mouse you can control it with either one of the mouse. But say you wanna have a mouse on your left and a mouse on your right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit run, and now, if you'll look, I have two, two mice. There's one right here that has a little two to the bottom of it. And I'm not quite sure what you would use this for. But um, maybe if you have, like, multiple desktops or something, like, or, um, not desktops, uh, uh, monitors. Like, say you've got, like, four monitors. You can have this one on the two monitors on your left. And you can have this one on the two monitors to your right. That way you can control them that way. Now, I have noticed that the um, second mouse is a little bit glitchy. 
on um, one desktop. I'm not sure if that's the same for if you have multiple monitors, because I don't have that, so you'll probably just have to find that out yourself. Now, what I am going to show you that I think is cool and isn't really that glitchy is we're going to open, hold on, we're going to hit File, New, and then you're going to hit Open. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to voice scripts and you're going to go to mouse voice commands.py. Now what's really cool about this one is I'm going to sort of scroll scroll down or uh, shrink it some and we're just going to hit run. Now watch this. Up. Hold on. Up. Down. There it goes. Right, uh, it, it picked up left. Um, right, fast, fast, left, slow, fast, fast, stop. So you can control your mouse with your voice, and you can still click with your mice um, over here. But like, if you could see me right now, I'm not touching the mouse, and if I say up. Up doesn't really work that well for some reason. That's what I mean by not that glitchy. Up. Down. Come on. Right. Left. Oh, that's why I didn't hit run. I'm, re I'm retarded. <laughs> uh, and it's not responding at the moment. That's probably because I'm recording. Uh, we'll just keep it at Windows 7 Basic. Um, alright, there it goes. So let's see if it'll respawn now. It's an older program, I think, is why it's doing this, but other than that, it's pretty neat. Like, say you're, um, you've got, like, sort of a microphone, and it's wireless, you've got it plugged into your computer, and you've got this big projector up. What you do is you can go into the back room, and you can say up, and then your mouse will go scrolling up by itself, and then it'll go to the right or left, and you can, um... Maybe you can input some sort of source code in there yourself and have it set up so that it'll click whenever you say click. That way it'll look really neat on something like a PowerPoint or if you're going through and making a video or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to use it for. Just thought it would be really cool to show you guys that and I'll see you guys next time.